All right, hey guys, OFD checking in here, and today we have a watch from Aquatico. First time I've ever looked at any of their watches. I do like their watches on their website, have quite a few very interesting models, um, especially some that are coming out that I was like, wow, I almost pulled the trigger when I was on their website, but I kind of held back. This watch came to me by way of one of my viewers out there, one of my best viewers, Chris Walls out in Pennsylvania. Chris, thank you so much for getting this one on the channel. We were kind of chatting the other day. He sent me a picture. We were texting and he sent me a picture of what he was wearing. It happened to be this watch. And I mentioned, hey, I haven't, I've never looked at one of those. I'd love to check one out. And he was kind enough to send it out here to the channel for me to take a look at it. So this is his Aquatico Sea Star. Now, I want to show you the box. It's a wooden box, kind of a nice wooden box. Nothing super heavy, not oak or anything like that, but definitely nice. It's got this little swing latch here on it, which is pretty cool. Now, inside of here, you have the watch. Now, there was, you know, packaging material and whatnot um, that I, I removed just because we don't need to take a look at that. Inside here, you do have the watch. Now, it is currently on a, uh, a Aquatico isoframe strap, but also back here in the packaging, it does have a a factory bracelet here and the uh, solid in links are down there. I'm not going to put the watch on the bracelet at all because it's not my watch and, and honestly I tend to be a fan of these isoframe straps. This is really really nice. This feels to be honest this feels just like my super expensive $140 isoframe strap um, that I, I recently bought for my doc. So, so very nicely done. But this is the Aquatico Sea Star. You guys can see it right there on the dial. Number of different varieties out there available, including a CS, or I guess a CSNU8 bronze version available. Uh, they've got them available running the NH35 automatic Seiko movement or the Salita SW200, which this particular watch here is running the Swiss the Selena movement. So really, really cool watch, very nicely put together. I want to go through the dimensions with you because the dimensions were slightly, slightly off on the website. So side to side on the case, you've got, as a matter of fact, we'll just go ahead and do it right here with the calipers, which I have next to me. Go ahead and show you guys the case from side to side. You're looking at 42 millimeters from lug tip to lug tip. It's going to come in slightly under 50 at 49.2. Now thickness on the website said it was 14. I'm getting more of a 14 and a half, closer to 15 millimeters. And then also on the website, it said the lugs were 24 and I'm measuring 22 millimeter lugs. Uh, just to give you guys a good idea, nice graspy seven millimeter crown here on the watch, which is very nice. Very well put together watch. This watch feels super solid. Now Aquatico is out of Hong Kong, but as you guys know, all the micro brands, everything are out of there, uh, Hong Kong, Singapore, and the best, really honestly, the best micro brand watches that I've found come out of that area. Ceramic bezel insert on this watch, a very nice, crispy, crispy, uh, not hard to turn, but definitely a stiff bezel. This isn't gonna slip on you, it's not gonna move around on you, and it locks in very nicely here. Love the ceramic bezel insert. I'm not sure if it glows. We'll go ahead and light this thing up at the end of the video. Check out all the loom on it. But I love that red around the pip at the 12 o'clock position. Gives it that look of like an old Submariner or maybe the older, uh, I don't know, Tudors and stuff like that. It looks really cool. Uh, sword style hands on this for the big wide hour hand there. A nice clean stick hand for the minutes. You see the sweep of that second hand there. The Salita SW200 is a 26 joule movement. Beats at 28,800 vibrations per hour. It has approximately a 38 hour power reserve. Is hacking and hand windable. This particular version is a no date model. Um, the uh, indices on the watch, I do believe they are applied. As you guys can see, and there's a little bit of a shiner. I think they are. It's kind of, let me get it up here a little bit closer. These may be actually painted on. But no, I do see some shine there around the indices. So there's definitely... Uh, some shine applied there looks really really nice and a clean dial with just the aquatico the automatic up there at the top the sea star the 1000 feet or the 300 meters you can see the blue reflection there that's because uh, a, a domed sapphire crystal with an ar coating on it doing a pretty good job of keeping the reflections back there but you can see that blue ar being used um, the crown on the watch is sign, as you guys can see with the aquatico logo and as we hold it to the side here you guys can get an idea of the finish on this watch very industrial, looks like pretty much brushing all the way around. You get a lot of pop and shine from that ceramic, excuse me, bezel insert and a little bit of polishing there at the logo. But other than that, pretty uh, brushed up watch here. Nothing too fancy going on with the case finishing. There in the back, you can see the uh, decorated logo, simple decorated logo with the Aquatico uh, symbol there on it, the Salita SW200. Let you know it's an automatic watch, sapphire crystal. 1,000 uh, feet or 300 meters, so nicely done. Aquatico Precision Divers Watch. So they make a lot of different watches, guys. I'll leave a link to their website down below in the description. Uh, the buckle is signed by Aquatico on the um, isoframe style strap, but just a really well put together uh, watch. Now, 
at the website with the Salita, you're talking $5.99 USD, but I do know that they're offering like 30% discounts out there if you give them your email, so you can get quite a bit off the watch if you're looking for it. I think that the NH35 version is around $399 for that one, so you're going to pay a premium for the Swiss movement. So let's go ahead and pause it, get this watch on my 7-inch wrist, and let's uh, stick around for the loom shot. All right, so here's the watch on my 7-inch wrist. The case fits the wrist really well. It is a little bit thick at close to 15 millimeters, but for a dive watch, I love the way this looks. It's got great wrist presence. And I know the case isn't really bright and shiny, but that domed sapphire crystal with that sapphire bezel insert, that shiny sapphire bezel insert, really kind of make up for that. And that's really pretty much all the shine I think you want or need on this watch. It looks really, really nice. And the isoframe strap, as usual, extremely comfortable so let's go ahead and kill the lights and check out the loom all right so i know it's not totally dark in here but you guys will get the idea of the loom i know these micro brands really bump up the loom they know we love it and so i'm not gonna be surprised that this thing probably glows like a torch so and i do believe that the bezel insert is loom also so yeah there you go lots and lots of loom um, i'm sure there's going to be like a cx1 swiss super loom went over something of that variety but definitely looks good awesome loomed bezel on this watch and it's going to glow all night long you can just tell by looking at that how brightly it shines so and this isn't a completely dark room it is it is darker in here but yeah i have light coming in through a back window so but yeah that loom is going to last and it looks really good cool watch from aquatico i'll leave a link to their uh, website down below in the description if you guys want to check them out so cool if you guys like the video give me a thumbs up down there at the bottom and if you've not subscribed to the ofd channel yet please do please do thanks guys